boredom. That sickening feeling you get as you stare at a math problem you have no clue how to solve. You listen to the dull ambiance of your thinly walled home. Your parents preparing dinner downstairs. Airplanes flying outside your window. The whirring of that old black fan your surprise still functions. It's normal sounds that add nothing. The attention-seeking cousin of silence. Your eyes wander to your coat rack. Many are hung, but there's only one you actually use. The winter coat you've worn every day since fall first struck. Even Wisconsin's sub-zero weather has gold on you now. Unable to even focus on that, your eyes wander to the clutter carelessly sprawled around your room. It always ends up this way, huh? How? At some point, you just gave up trying to keep it clean for more than a week. You told yourself to get used to the dull self-hatred that comes whenever you look around. But you're sick of it. You're sick of not being able to keep anything clean for more than a week. You're sick of wearing the same coat every day, the coat that has now fallen to the floor. You're sick of listening to the same sounds foretell the arrival of dinner and the winding down of the day. You're sick of always relying on the answer sheet to help you with math. You're sick of staying inside, doing homework on your bed, despite knowing it screws up your sleep schedule. Sick of these tiny walls encroaching your personal space. Sick of your recommended showing the same video. Sick of doing the same thing every single day. And the worst part is you don't even know the slightest idea on how to get out of all of Please, this. Please, touch some grass. Oh, well that came out of nowhere. It appears that during your insanely bored rambling, your fingers typed in the link for YouTube. Again. In most situations, you'd happily resign yourself to a day of mindless entertainment and a lack of productivity, but this guy offers some sage advice. Unfortunately, though, it looks like the weather outside is... pretty good. Oh, but you have stuff to do. I mean, on your computer tabs alone, you have that math sheet, and then your peer review for your friend's essay, and your own essay, and you should really get on those citations. And then you have to ask your aunt to do the adult edit, and then there's that script you should- If I don't do something entertaining in the next five minutes, I might just spontaneously combust. Tomorrow is anything but a backpack day. Looking around a big old suitcase is gonna be fun. And then there's that girl who's bringing her brother. That'll be a sight to see. And then there's the next Saturday, another tournament, and your friend's birthday party, and then... Well, who knows what the week in between that might hold. Up until now, fall has always been your favorite season. But spring is starting to grow on you. The deadness of winter, followed by... Revelation. But maybe that's just because I'm a Wisconsinite.